Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Let's make sure this is recording. Yes, it's recording. <sighs> um, my name is Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Blah, 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 blah. So, what was I going to say? Was I going to say anything? I don't know. Um, yeah, I got rid of the website now, so there's no longer a website. I kind of figured, you know, I might as well, because I like to delete things, you know, so I thought I'd uh, get rid of that. I'm no longer on Facebook or Twitter. I've actually deleted my Facebook, not deactivated it. I'm actually deleting it. <laughs> oh, yes. So, uh, I almost feel like when I'm on Facebook that I'm watching the news. I get that same kind of feeling that, uh, what have I actually, uh, what positivity has come out of spending time on Facebook? Uh, Twitter's not so bad. Because the only people I have on Twitter are famous people. Well, I had because I got rid of that as well. But it's like boxers and, you know, just catching up with them and seeing what they're up to and what their latest fights are and their training and stuff like that. But I can get all that on YouTube anyway. Which leaves me more time more time to read hopefully and make more recordings so I'm going to be continuing with the these recordings so don't worry about that that's, that's going to continue because this is kind of all I've got really this is my uh, <sighs> This is the focus of my life, you know, making uh, recordings, not just these ones, but, you know, the deep sleep whisper, the stress ones, the, you know, various different things. So this is probably my favorite one, really, because uh, there's no preparation needed for this. (laughs) <laughs> like I'll prepare for anything. No, I don't. That's true. Thanks for reminding me. Huh. Why is the silk browser not working? Hmm. That's weird. Okay. Right. Let me have a look. I've got this... Uh, tablet that I'm just playing with. So I'm just going to click in Jason Newland Hypnosis. So this is with Bing. So tune in comes up at the top, YouTube next, then bing.com videos. So it's, uh, there's lots of those. Spreaker is the next one. Stitcher is the next one. Podcast.apple.com is the next one. Podchaser is the next one. Jasonnewland.com, so that's kind of gone now. Podchaser.com, hypnosisdownloads.com. Which is weird, that's an advert. That's an advert. And yeah, so Facebook's down the list. Uh, Owl. Owl tail.com uh, what other ones yeah. 
castbox.fm podcast.apple.com there's quite a few of those um, do, 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 do. oh that's had Spotify there I thought Spotify would come up very much to the top because a lot of people that have contacted me over the years well over let's say over the last year or two have been let's say year not two years over the last year they've very much uh, mentioned Spotify above all the others I mean other, some others have been mentioned to me like TuneIn and uh, Luminary is one which I've not even heard of before um, but it's definitely there it's got my stuff on it mytuneradio.com podomatic.com podtail um, player.fm what other ones beauty now hair salons Dot com. My name is Jason Newland. This is my page for my free hypnosis service, Mission. My mission is to reach a larger audience, helping more people, and at the same time, earn a living doing this. <laughs> That's like years ago I put that on there. Huh. Mixcloud. That's another podcast. Acast. So play.acast.com. That's another one. There's quite a few podcasts out there. Stitcher, I think I've mentioned that. Um, Podchaser, I mentioned that. Let's see what other ones come up. It's fine, not all of the ones that I'm on are coming up. I know there's Pod Paradise. That's one. That's that's not come up yet. So that's that's there. Uh, what other ones am I on? Ooh. That's weird. It says here. Can you click Jason Newland hypnosis review? It says Jason Newland hypnosis. Don't find Jason Newland hypnosis is best in online store. I will call in short names <laughs> individuals who are speaking. It, none of this makes sense. Someone using my name just to get not my name, but probably anyone's name. Let's have a look. I'll click on it and see what it says. <sighs> okay. This is basically, it's an advert. It was a website called hypnosis hypnosis2control.com. And they're trying to sell a... Or he's an author of 22 books, Dr. Steve G. Jones. Okay. And he's selling... DVDs from the look of it. How much are they? How much? Got to go all the way down to the bottom to find out. Come on. Here's that one one time charge of twenty seven dollars. And is using my name in the search engine that's great using my name as a tag to get people to go to the website or whoever he's employing to get people to the website that's not fair bra podcast sleep hypnosis weekly bra podcast It's literally B R A podcast dot S E and I don't understand the language. It's 
Toplista, Samhal, Och, Coulter, Nietzsche, Och, Politik. Politik, that sounds... Is that Russian? But it's got my... Doesn't have all of them on there, but... Hello. Oh. So that the, the latest one it has on 16th that it's playing just hasn't updated to the the other ones. Wow. Wow. Shoutengine.com, that's another one. And Portail. I've got another one. Awesome posting. Sleep him. <laughs> Believe in yourself. Hypnosis with Jason Newland. Oh dear. I don't know. See, I don't normally go on Bing. Because I was, I'm always worried that it might be taken up. Because someone else might be on there. And I'll be, it'll be busy. But obviously I've found a time when there's no one else on Bing. Um, Shao Engine. I've got Jason Newland videos, Daily Motion. This is the one where I think there's some really old videos of me going back to. Yeah, oh dear. There's a video here. It says here the most viewed video. Um, update the 11th of August 2009. Wow, and there's also a video here, 15th of the 4th, 2007. So 15th of April, 2007, 10 minute relaxation session. Oh my goodness. And it's a black and white, <laughs> it is a black and white video. And I would say I remember doing it, but I kind of do, but I don't, you know, at the same time. You know, there's 70 videos on there. I wouldn't even, I don't even know how to log into the thing. Seriously, 70 videos. Um, which I, I've had very few, I've only had a few thousand views, but... It's too big. If I turn it around that way, will it be better? No? Oh, yeah, that's better. So I've got... Uh, what's really weird, when I look at some of these videos, probably the only thing I like about the videos is the background. Because I can get to see where I was at that time what room I was sleeping in. So there's this one where I was in the Buddhist community. I'll come out of that before it starts. Um, oh. Yeah. There's another one where I was, it's where I was living when I was doing my degree my counselling degree let's have a look see if I click on all the videos all videos and then I can get an idea of where I was at that time some of them just have pictures and some of these videos might not even um even be available anywhere else. In fact, they're not, I don't think. So I've got chronic pain, I had these techniques. Chronic pain technique 12, 11, 10, 9, that was 10 years ago. Um, but yeah, it would be 2009, wouldn't it? Because it's 2019 now. I do look younger. 
when I was younger, but I do look younger. I'd had a shave. And I don't know why. I'm going to grow the biggest beard in history. That's my new, uh, it's my new task, my new. Oh look, it's here, update 13th of August 2009. See this, and this now lets you know, or lets me know, what period this was, because this is when I made the stop smoking sessions. Because I know this because I'm sitting in at the table where my landlord and landlady would have their breakfast and eat their dinners. But they were on holiday, so I was able to sit in there myself. And I made a few videos uh, there. And what I did is, while I was making the the Stop Smoking audio uh, course, which took me about 10 days to do. You wouldn't think it if you listened to it, but it did. And I do put an hour on, an hour off. So I'd work on it for an hour, because there's lots of editing. I was really doing my best to make it the best quality sound I could. And then I was watching Prison Break, the TV show. I was watching the box sets. And I had my little television. I brought it in from the bedroom. And I put it on the side of the kitchen side and I watched it. So I was doing now. I was kind of taking turns. It's kind of like having a break, you know. Oh, look. It got to the point where I was doing a hypnosis to have a break from prison break. I've got another one, a couple of videos here. Chronic pain relief techniques. And it's me in the garden, I guess, yeah, in the summer, August 2009. And had a beautiful garden, really lots of flowers and all that stuff. But wow. So now, huh. seems a bit strange. There's a picture of me 12 years ago. Which would be, where the heck was I 12 years ago? That's the same place, isn't it? 2007. Yeah. It's got to be... I guess that was the same place. Because I was there for three years. Yeah, so there's a couple of videos there, uh, video session 10, 10 minute relaxation session 4, ah. and there's another one here 12 years ago, this is before I moved, so this would be, I'm guessing actually because it's hard to see that background, but the background has got my bookcase when I had all my books, I, I loved my books. I had a huge, well for me it was a big collection. It took, started collecting them really in 1997, the end of 97, until about four years ago. A couple of months before I moved in here. So there's 10 minute chronic pain relief, 12 years ago. So this is 25th of April 2007, 10 minute relaxation. That's 13 years ago. Fifth 
15th of April, 10 minute relaxation. 15th of April, 2007, 13 years ago. 15th, again the same date, 15th of April, 2007. 10 minute relaxation. It's exactly the same video, my goodness. And then I've got one, it just says, please repost free relaxation. And I'm holding up my a thing with my <laughs> with my website, uh, like a sponge thing. That was 13 years ago. Yeah, that's weird. So I wonder if I go to if I just put in. Let's put in my name. Da -da 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 -da. Put in my name. I don't know what pictures I've got of me. So when I put in my name in this is Bing. I mean, have you ever heard of it? It's the it's the Microsoft version of Google. I think they get about 12 people a month go on there and use that service. So, it says, that's weird, huh, how strange. So images, so I'm third, there's a picture of someone, I think he's a doctor, I know he's a doctor, and there's that, so there's a picture of me the top of the list but I'm third along and then the next and there's three three pictures of different people but I'm third and then the second row I'm third again I think the fourth one is a prison picture of someone the next line I'm not on at all then the next line, i am got a picture of me and Andre, Andre licking my ear. It's a picture of a couple of police people. Then a picture of me from the newspaper article from 2006. And there's another picture of me holding Andre. And then the next line of pictures, there's five pictures. There's four people that aren't me, well probably are my name. And then there's me again as a picture of one of my videos the next line down nothing of me and the next line down quite weird that the next line down is me lying down which was the first video I made when I first moved here I first moved into this flat I had a video where I'm, knee, I'm laying down on my left hand side near my chair, we're in front of my chair and yeah, so I just I remember doing that because it's the only time I think I ever did that so that's, that's from then then there's another two pictures of me as well one's of my uh, 160 let me bore you to sleep 4th of June 2019 there's another picture of me from podcast.apple.com laying on my side and that's from one of the videos I think then the next line there's a shark a man in a shark's mouth I think his name's Jason as well and then there's three pictures but they're like uh they're not pictures, it's not pictures of me, but they're 
images like banners that I've made like one says Jason Newland's free hypnosis service since 2006 another one has the same thing but it's a different version of that There's another one is from the sleep hyp insomnia hypnosis and the next line they're all me it's uh but again pictures of videos pictures of recordings and stuff the next line two out of four is mine me the there's only one picture of me and I've got my big beard on I decided to wear my beard that day I think I look better with a beard I don't know it's it's hard isn't it because I don't look at myself and think oh ooh, <laughs> you know or, or I don't I don't have an emotional uh, reaction in that way when I see myself uh, sometimes I do <laughs> I think oh dear what on earth's going on but I guess we all do that at times, but I kind of, I don't see myself the way that other people see me, I guess, because we all kind of see different things, because, I don't know, it's like, I, I think I can hear myself the way that you can hear me then that's not necessarily true either because you might I might be hearing myself talking like this and you might be hearing and then, uh, there's another picture of me and I'm lying down and uh, yeah, that, that might be what you're hearing and I, I really hope not but if that is the case then why are you still listening Although you could technically say, well, we're not listening because we're trying to go to sleep. Can you just continue talking about pictures and uh, just, you know, don't actually, uh, don't talk to us directly, please. <laughs> just get on with it. Okay. There's another picture of me, again, sleeping on one side. And that was a video I made. So that's not, again, I, sometimes I look at pictures of myself and I think, I look all right there. You know, kind of, I look at myself on my, on my side. It could have been, uh, by the looks of it, it would have been in the last few years. So, because of what I'm wearing, so um, it's in the last couple of years, and I've got my glasses off because I'm in bed. I don't wear them in bed, and my eye. Well, only one of my eyes is showing. I do do have two eyes. One of my eye is is showing the right eye. It looks quite nice. Not. I don't fancy my own eye because that would, that would be strange. I'm not falling in love with my eye. A left eye can't stand a right eye. Oh, no, nothing like that. But I'm just, I've just noticed that. I, I mean, I've got bags under my eyes. Like big sandbags. And I still. It's quite weird. Even when I'm laying down, I've still got chubby cheeks. I look like a little squirrel. But I look quite okay there. Uh, there's no pictures of me for another two lines. There's a picture of one of my... Yes. There is a picture, not of me though, it's just of one of my videos. And there's a picture of... Uh, oh, there's a picture of what my one of my stop smoking recordings. 
I'm going down and there's someone with a banjo and then there's a picture some other pictures of podcast covers you know the pictures that are on there you know like this one's got a yellow picture with Andre sitting in his thing he's so cute isn't he I know, the thing is, I'm biased, but actually other people have said it as well. Um, it's so beautiful. And then there's another picture of Andre laying there with his little tongue sticking out. How cute is that? Oh, oh I love that little boy. He's so beautiful, especially when he's asleep. And he's not being naughty. So as I go down further, of course, nothing, nothing, no pictures of me for four, five. And then there's a picture of True Blood. Because it was uh, basically Reverend Newland was in True Blood but there's also a character called Jason in True Blood he was the star of the show pretty much so a few years ago when True Blood was on television you know when it was like his peak what should we say 2010 11, 12, 13 I loved that I loved it I did. I've got to tell you, there's a few shows that I've loved, like actually loved in my life. True, True Blood's one of them. The Sopranos, True Blood, Prison Break, Lost. I mean, in all fairness, nothing compared to Lost. When I first started watching that, that blew my mind. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Grey's Anatomy. Which surprised me because I'm not really into medical stuff. But Grey's Anatomy was brilliant. I didn't watch... I stopped watching it for a while. Because it is what happened really. Okay. I'll stick to you. Let's have a quick drink before I tell you this story. So I used to watch The Sopranos in uh, you know when it first started when it was on telly and when I was doing my degree which was 2007 September onwards I started because I was it's not the first time, but I was, um, you hear Andre in the background, bless him. I'm sure I could hear him in the bedroom say, oh my God, my daddy's doing a recording. I have to go and interrupt him. So that's what he's done. And he, I watched The Sopranos and everything, but during my degree, I had moved to another town which was further away from people that I was used to being with because before I moved I was in a Buddhist community I was going to the Buddhist centre I had quite a few friends I was quite close to family uh, you know some other friends and stuff so I kind of um Yeah, I kind of had had a few options of things to do. But then I moved, and although it was not like a big journey, it, you know, it's a train journey. And, and not only that, I also lived, yeah, the train journey was half an hour, 
but I lived another 45 minutes from where the train station was and that was on a bus so I was a little bit uh, not isolated but that's probably an exaggeration but it was definitely not close to anywhere but saying that it wasn't any it was it was a long journey to my not a long journey but it was a bus journey to the college that I was going to and but I got a bus pass I think it was something like uh, 100 and 112 pound or whatever for the year or a couple of hundred pound for the year or something and I used that f and got one each each year for the three years. But where I lived, there's lots of shops, so I couldn't couldn't really kind of moan about that. You know, I'd like to be able to, <laughs> but I couldn't because round the corner from where I lived, there was well, let's say you go out of my house where I was living and I was in this little room I don't know why I was given the little room because there was another room which I got to see when another person moved in which was a lot bigger than mine and it had a double bed why, why didn't they give me that uh, there you go and as you go out of the uh, of the house because it was a uh, it was a cottage it was a lovely cottage beautiful garden it was my landlady was really into gardening she really loved it it's really good at it and you know it was beautiful beautiful it was like a little I suppose a little, little slice of heaven you know for someone that was into gardening because there was a garden surrounding the entire building so it's very nice so I'd go out the garden gate if I turned right, I'd walk around for about, well, literally I'd look over to the right and there was a pub. There was a pub opposite. Which was good because of that, in, in those days I used to drink in pubs because drinking at home is a bit, I don't know, it's just, I was, because back then it wasn't that expensive. To drink you know the the alcohol has gone up quite a bit over the years and that but I just I didn't drink it every night in the pub but you know they served food and um, yeah, yeah I kind of got to know a few people I'd like to say hello to you know by, by sort of not like intimately became friends but just got to say hi and so if I turned left out of the garden gate go to the end of the road which is about a 20 second walk if I turned right um, or opposite there was a bus stop going into town so there's no it wasn't a long walk to the bus stop and it had a shelter so I didn't have to get wet and opposite there was another bus stop going the other way uh, which is where I get off and it was so the bus stop going into town and getting off from town both stopped at the end of my road so I turn right go down there probably 30 seconds and on the right hand side there was a barber's shop so I could have my hair cut didn't need to use it that often I'm not greedy but then yeah and then walk for a little bit further past a few houses and there was the petrol station which sold you know would sell petrol kept offering me petrol it's like why I don't want petrol do I look do I look like a car I go in there and I'd, I'd buy some chocolate bars and they said any petrol no I don't want any petrol I just just want to buy this and they had quite they were pretty good like milk and 
you know, cans of lager and stuff like that and, you know, necessities. So that was handy. And then a little bit further up from there, turn right, there was an off licence. And so I used to go in there and I think generally get my beers from there, really. And then next to the off licence, there was an Indian takeaway. And I think next to that, there was a Chinese takeaway. And just a little bit further up, there was, a, I think, a Thai takeaway. And if I was willing to walk, probably for another 15 minutes, there was a chip shop and another Chinese takeaway. So kind of everywhere, and an Aldi, which was a, a shop. Although I don't think I'm not sure if there was an Aldi there when I lived there, or if it opened up afterwards. Not a hundred percent sure. Hmm. But if I turned left out of the the gate and I walked up and then I turned left rather than right to where the barber shop was and all that stuff was turn left and just followed the road round probably about a five minute walk there was Sainsbury's and it was the biggest Sainsbury's in Europe or one of the biggest you know ones so and I, f I was like, okay, can't really complain about this. I've got everything I need. Um, could buy all the food I wanted. I just didn't have anywhere to store it, unfortunately. A little cupboard and a little fridge. That would be lovely if I had that here. Oh. A big Sainsbury's. Like, in, you know, where I lived. I could go up there every day and buy stuff you know just uh, on a you know for the next couple of days ahead or whatever but it was a good place also they served food they had like a restaurant and stuff so I used to go in there um, perhaps once a week on a Saturday afternoon and have a have a dinner and at Christmas I was in there every day because I did Christmas dinners so every day during December I'd go in there but I also did the same thing before I moved in the previous Sainsbury's. I haven't done it for years though now. I should try, I should do that this year. I should try and, wow, yeah. So that was the Sainsbury's, massive, massive Sainsbury's. Big car park, means nothing to me because I don't drive, but you know, plenty of space. And then across the road from Sainsbury's, there was a big shopping complex, like an industrial estate, but um, basically huge stores, like um, furniture stores and carpet stores, and all those kind of things, most of which I don't go into. Because I guess they've changed around a little bit. Um, but the things that are useful for me is to have a boots, like a, a pharmacy. So that's there. They've got a McDonald's. It's a big drive through McDonald's. And then, it's not that big actually, but it's drive through. I've been in bigger. I've seen bigger, which is something I've heard many times. And as you go, the other things that I like, they've got like carpet for us, or carpet R us, or whatever. They've got Sports Direct, which is something that I use. I go in there. Um, so you can get, you know, clothes and, you know, it's a huge store. So that's got, that's a useful one go all the way around I actually got my carpet for this flat from one of those shops 
and then go around again there's a if you keep, it's a big area there's lots of car car parks parking spaces and stuff you go around again and there's a a toy shop and it's not Toys R Us because they're, they're gone now aren't they but it's I think it's is it Toy Superstore or something like that it's huge I want to go in there actually because I'm thinking of maybe getting some Lego to play with it's a light Lego and then next to there is Iceland which is where I go to regularly um, which is a really good place you know if you've got a freezer and so that's that's really good and then next to there is Argos although that will go soon because that will move into Sainsbury's because Sainsbury's bought Argos and quite a few of the Sainsbury's have already moved Argos into them so I think that's what's going to do they'll do there as well so that's kind of like there's a lot there and you think well that's a lot there's even more across the road they had a Curry's which is well they do still have a Curry's which is they do electrical stuff fridges freezers you name it and all other kind of electrical kind of stuff next to that is PC World which has a like computer stuff again it's a huge store but next to that it used to be a Staples which was really good for me as well because you know because I was doing a lot of coursework I used to go and buy my um, stationary stuff from there and then that's closed got to go from and buy it or it, it, another stationary shop took over the the building and now that's closed as well so I don't know what's going to happen there next to that I think with Curry's was it Dixon's I don't know one of those places you can rent stuff you can rent TVs you can rent fridges freezers and stuff like that which is really handy for people that just don't have the money to to buy the stuff and if you move into a place there's the things you need the real like really need is you need a bed you know you need a fridge and a freezer and a cooker you need a washing machine really as well you know unless you don't mind going to a laundrette you need a chair to sit in you need a television some people say well I don't need a television I never watch a television why is it that people that don't watch televisions also look like they've never looked in a mirror <laughs> oh dear I um, when I first moved in here I was lucky that I had some money because I'd waited for my benefits to come through and I waited for about 10 months and I was on the very bare minimum I was living on about £20 a week for food you know because I was so I got through it but it was a long period and then suddenly I had £3,000 put into my bank and I I spent a few bits I paid off a few bits and then when I moved in here which was about four months later I still had a um, thousand pound or fifteen hundred pound left and I spent most of it well, I spent all of it in fact uh, on stuff I needed for the flat like the moving process I needed to rent a van and I had to get pro professional cleaners into my my previous accommodation to clean the place because it was full of mould and my cleaning wasn't good enough so I got professionals in 
and it cost me quite a bit and they said to me we can't clean it because it's mould and I said can you please put that on the piece of paper on the receipt which I then hand it to the landlord because he refused to admit that it was mould and uh, so there was that and then I needed to get a washing machine a cooker a fridge freezer or fridge and a freezer so I needed to get two although I only got the fridge with a little freezer compartment and my brother gave me a freezer which was handy a like little one because I had this the counter the the kitchen desktop I don't know not desktop you know the the thing that you do stuff on I don't think it's called a desktop is it the kitchen counter the kitchen the, I don't know what it's called but you know the, the thing that you the thing that you you sit on when you're a kid or the thing you sit on when there's no one else around and you're visiting someone's house and you sit on you sit on that part without your underpants on no okay maybe no just me and I wasn't allowed to make any adjustments to the building until I'd been here for a year and then only with permission. So I couldn't saw the the counter in half in order to put a big fridge freezer in. So I had the freeze the fridge freezer on top. Well originally I had the fridge freezer underneath and then I put the freezer on top on underneath and the fridge freezer on top and then I got myself another freezer which was a those low ones you know the ones just with a lid on top and that's the one I use more than anything because it's it's so much easier than not bending down and taking a tray out and stuff it's just it's it's one of my favourite per- <laughs> one of my I can't even say it it's one of my favourite purchases. That's a weird sentence. And then I got a bed, a double bed. So just the bed and the washing machine came to seven hundred pound, and then I got the carpet, which was about six hundred plus, plus the cooker, fridge. And yeah, it came to came to a fair amount. And at the end of it, I'd actually run out of all money. I kind of I'd used all my money up getting this place ready. I was ever so disappointed. <laughs> it's, it's like oh, it was quite nice because I used to. I didn't even have the money in the bank. I just had it in an envelope. And just had it in my sock drawer. And I had this, the envelope with like a grand in it. Or £1,500 or whatever. And it's like, oh. I was mean, lucky that I saved it. And there wasn't really anything I wanted. At that time, the only thing I wanted was a wish come true and that was for more my books to reappear but even with a 1500 pound or three grand that wouldn't have bought all the books back that i'd uh, lost so you know when i think back to it i kind of think oh perhaps i should have got myself a decent laptop Uh, because i did waste a bit of it but then not sure yeah, I've got some clothes that I needed um, a bit of preparation for the winter because I think the money came in the end of November I think it might have been December I think it was November and I you know I've got, I got stuff that I needed I bought did buy quite a few Kindle books which were replacements for the books that I lost I've still got them it's quite weird I forget that they're there it's almost like they don't exist until I look at the screen you know 
what else did I get? That was it really, like the most of it went on this. Just the basic getting it ready and I've got a chair as well. Yeah, because I, I, I didn't like the chair I had so I replaced the chair with the recliner that's now... Um, I don't know how to explain it but it's, you know, it's it's worn very worn it almost looks like all I've ever done is sit in that chair for the last four years and I haven't well I've done other things I've done other things I mean when I'm on the computer I'm sitting at the desk I never sit at the chair when I'm on a computer very rarely I used to when I was at all my other places because I didn't have a chair to sit in so I'd be sitting in a in a um, either sitting in a bed or at a table using a laptop so I'm more comfortable doing that but I haven't sat in my bed I haven't I purposely purposely didn't put a television in my bedroom because I don't want to watch television in bed anymore I did it did it for 25 whatever years I decided not doing it anymore I'm not going to watch television in bed so I watch television I come in the living room I sit in the chair or I sit at my table whatever and I watch it here when I'm in bed I'm in bed asleep or whatever I want to do but I don't watch television but now I kind of wish I had a television in my bedroom <laughs> it's sort of kind of wish I did just because I think it would be quite nice just from a I don't know I think it's quite nice to be a bit lazy sometimes but like purposely lazy because if you're purposely purposively being lazy it's not really laziness it's just giving yourself a bit of a break but then I look down at the the, the carpet and it's such a mess now because of Andre it just ruined you I can't I can't explain enough how much he ruined the carpet. <laughs> it really has. It's ripped up and everything. Um, so I need a new carpet, but I kind of... If I get a new carpet, he's going to rip that one up as well. Uh, yeah... So I don't know what my point was. What was my point? Oh yeah, so there's the free trees. So you, there's a shop that you can rent stuff from. And next to that PC World, the stationary place that's gone. And now there's a place where you can... It's like a, a cheap shop, like a pound shop, but not a pound shop one of those big discount stores and it's huge and you can get kind of anything you know or whatever they've got available obviously but it's it's quite good in there it's okay and so that that's a lot of stuff just around the corner from where I lived before and bearing in mind when I was living in the Buddhist community there was nothing for miles it was a really really long road and it took about probably 20 25 minutes to walk to the end of the road and then it was a Sainsbury's and then there was nothing for another 
15, 20 minutes, went until getting to town. You know, all, obviously all the stuff in town was there. So I had a lot more here than I did when I moved, before, before I moved. However, since I moved again, because since I was living there, I've moved one, two, three times. This is where I am now. And I still go back to that because it's about 15 minutes on a bus, 20 minutes depending, you know, to get to that area. And I've got even more stuff now. I mean, I've got restaurants. There was a Ben and Jerry's, is it? I don't know what it's called, but it's some place. I've been in there a few times over the years. And there's another place which is a Mexican restaurant. Um, and then all these new ones are being built. So there's a KFC, there's a Nando's, and there's a couple of other ones that have, I've never been in that side. In fact, I don't know if you'd even know they were there, unless you knew they were there. It's kind of a little bit, you know, the, all, the, all the parkings around the back. So it's a, like a whole new industrial estate on that side. And that whole area has just been built up. There's a lot of space because in this town it was, uh, well, it still is, but it's uh, an army town. But what they did is, for some reason, they sold lots of the army land to whoever to, to build stuff with. So when I first moved here, there was this basically like swamp land. And it was places where they used to practice... Uh, army manoeuvres and stuff this whole area was all fenced off do not pass here do not go you know all this stuff don't go in there and then they started building on it about 12 years ago and now it's a big housing estate it's like big you know there's a lot of houses there there's a bridge they've built there's roads and you know it's I don't know, hundreds of houses, probably. And now they're talking, they, they, um, the the council, Emma, they've been talking for a few years, before I moved in here actually, about building a big house in the state, like a garden, I think they call it a garden estate, sort of like Greenland or something, where they're going to build... Like hundreds of houses or thousands of houses or whatever in my area which basically means I think they'll be buying the farms and building on the farmland because there's got a lot of farms behind where I live and that would be interesting I'd much prefer that they if they just had a big supermarket <laughs> just just Sainsbury's or Aldi a Sainsbury's and an Aldi and an, and an Iceland just so I can go and kind of because those are the three shops that I would actually go in Iceland for the frozen stuff Aldi for the cheap stuff and then Sainsbury's for the nice stuff kind of have a much bigger selection you kind of treat yourself you know you Iceland you can get cheap chocolate Aldi you can probably get cheaper chocolate but with a funny name the, you know it's just because they, they, they basically copy the brands but have a different name so um a Mars bar would be a, a Pars bar or something like that. They do actually have a Mars bar ver version. 
I think they call it um, oh what do they call it I forget but it's the same kind of packaging but this has got a different name so some of the stuff works you know I've tried some of the things some of it don't um, so it's, it's like it's a test it's a testing situation but because Audi's so cheap um, a lot of the time it's worth it's worth like testing things and then Sainsbury's is just nice to for a treat to go in and because they have pizzas already made up or they make it to specifications and those kind of things that you can't get in other places and so that's quite nice and yeah yeah hmm so that would be quite cool I think to have that there that yeah so I'm gonna go please remember to share this if you like it share it online somewhere tell others about the the grooviness of these recordings and I will speak to you very very likely tomorrow so thank you for listening remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve you deserve to be happy lots of love bye